Hey guys, Tay here, and in this video today I'm going to be talking about the possibility of Modern Warfare 4 actually being a prequel to the first Modern Warfare, which was COD 4, and so basically having Modern Warfare 4 set uh, before the time of COD 4, which was the first Modern Warfare that came out. I say this because a lot of people think that um, the Modern Warfare 3 storyline will be too hard to continue with because a lot of the main characters are dead and so the possibility of them going back towards the times of COD 4 is actually really possible, you know, telling the stories of how they got into the story of COD 4. Um, that could be really interesting to sort out but I'm not going to go into the details of uh, what the story mode could do because I'm going to be talking more about um, the multiplayer in this video and uh, the reasons why I think that doing this could be really good. Okay, so ever since the days of COD 5, Call of Duty World at War, Treyarch, who've made those games, and the Black Ops games as well, um, have had their Zombies mode, and that has kind of been uh, the thing I think they've been focusing on, I think that's the thing they're trying to push the most, because I think that's what gets them a lot of the sales, whereas Infinity Ward, who make the Modern Warfare series, they haven't got anything like that, they've got multiplayer and single player. And um, that's all they've got, and every year they've actually tried to push the, the thing that they have got, the multiplayer, they've tried to push it all the way to the limit, to that tipping distance, and if you look back into the games, Modern Warfare 2 was the nuke, it had a uh, one-man army, loads of noob tubes in there as well, loads of really game-changing things that have put in there, and... Often they do backfire, but they're in there uh, putting these risky things in there to try and to try and push the game as far as it can possibly go. Now, because multiplayer is such a massive part of the Modern Warfare series, they need to get it right. You know, they've got no zombies to fall back on, and the campaign's only about six hours long, so that's not going to keep people entertained for long. The multiplayer is what keeps them coming back, and they need to make it good. And if you look back into the history books, some of the best actual multiplayer gameplay was from the COD 4 era and the COD 5 era. Those multiplayers were absolutely awesome, and I think the thing that's changed is the map size. I think ultimately that is what is the difference between those games um, back in the past and the games right now. Now of course gun balancing is probably something that Infinity Ward have most famously got wrong I guess. The noob tubes were just a stupid idea in Modern Warfare 2 and if you look back then there's pretty much one gun, you know, the ACR, the PP90M1 or whatever it was in Modern Warfare 3 and even in some of Treyarch's old games, you know, the um, AK-74U or whatever it was called in Black Ops and the MP40 in COD 5 as well, you know, there's plenty of overpowered guns and they were the ones that the majority of people would use because they were just so overpowered. The thing Treyarch have done this year with Black Ops 2 really, really well is actually gun balancing. Um, there's no real standout weapons. And I think if they could kind of balance the guns in Modern Warfare 4 as well as Black Ops 2 have, but put them into the kind of feel of the game from COD 4 or COD 5, then I think they're onto some kind of winning formula. You know, they've got to throw in some risks in there as well to try and, you know, be outrageous as they do, get people talking, throw a nuke in there or something. Um, I don't think the nuke's that bad idea, you know, if you're good enough to get one, then fair enough, you can end the game. Um, but I've kind of gone off on a different tangent altogether, talking about the map sizes. Um, essentially, over the years, they have got smaller. Now, um, in the past, in COD 5 and COD 4, you had big maps, you had small maps in there as well, but you had a good mixture of sized maps. But um, as the years have gone on, these number of small maps have got bigger, and the big maps are just diminishing, really. And um, I'm not saying that small maps are bad, you know, some of those are my favourite ones, and, you know, high rise from Modern Warfare 2, Rust, Dome, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, this year you've got Hijacked, I really like that map as well, but I think you need a good mix of maps, a good mix of size of maps and um, settings of maps, everything in there, because Call of Duty is basically known for its fast-paced action, and so the small maps are definitely great for that, but I think you just need to go, kind of like take a step back, a leaf out of the old games books, and um, get a good mix of maps in there. Anyway, so that's what I think, um, if they do a prequel to COD 4, that would be the perfect excuse to go back to the old kind of style of maps where they're a lot bigger and, um, you know, you've still got small maps in there. I'm not, I'm not hating on small maps at all, they're my favourite maps, but um, I just think the maps these days have just got a little bit too samey. But if you guys think any different, then do comment below, uh, leave this video a quick like, it's really appreciated. Subscribe for plenty more Modern Warfare 4 news, it's all on my channel. I think I've got eight videos up there at the minute, they've got some on the screen right now, so just click on one of those and that'll take you over to one of them thank you very much for watching guys and have a great day